in Germany. Hello YouTube, so I just want to do a quick video uh, on homosexuality. I am not going to preach on homosexuality because you know it's wrong. I'm not going to waste my time and babysit you on the doctrines or the teachings of why homosexuality is wrong. Jesus Christ didn't do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, it's quite clear that many homosexuals think they can be Christian and uh, worship God, but you know, just like lying and stealing and gambling and all this other stuff, that homosexuality is wrong. So, you know, the way to heaven is narrow and difficult. But the scripture says in the book of Matthew, it's, it's narrow and difficult and only few will find it. So why would I waste my time on people that don't appreciate uh, the gift of forgiveness of sin and you expect that you should get a free pass for being a homosexual. The journey to heaven is very difficult. So how do I get you all the, over those hurdles of fasting, prayer, night watches, disciplining your body? Uh, how do we get you to overcome all those hurdles? Because it's hard. The journey to heaven is hard. It's difficult. So if you're saying homosexuality is right when you know it's wrong, and in addition, I'm reading the gospel and Jesus Christ is saying the way is narrow and difficult, but then you're trying to make homosexuality seem right. Why on earth should I waste time preaching against homosexuality when there's no maturity, when there's no truth in you, when there's no understanding in you? What part of the gospel uh, don't you understand? The way is narrow and difficult, and only few will find it. Only few, few will find it. That's what the scripture says. So if you're homosexual, can you ask yourself honestly, am I one of the few that will find it? No, you have to repent, and you have to get baptized, and you have to cast out that spirit of homosexuality in you. Because as a pastor online, his name is Pastor Gino Jennings. He spends a lot of time, and it almost hurts to watch him preach <coughs> against homosexuality. And I'm like, why does he spend all this time in preaching against homosexuals when he could be edifying the saints or building up the saints that are believe and commissioning the saints and getting the saints to go out and preach the gospel? Why does he spend all this time? I don't know. I, I'm not going to do that. Jesus Christ did not preach about, against, um, about homosexuality, period. It was like a given. You just knew. Just like lying or stealing or gambling. You just know that, okay, obviously this is wrong. It's very wrong. I mean, if we go to the book of Genesis, we see uh, God destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. So if you're homosexual, I sympathize with you, but I'm also scared for you. And I hope you can get delivered from that spirit because it's a spirit and you can be free. You can be free like any other spirit of adultery or fornication or drinking or smoking. Everything is a spirit. We live in a spiritual realm. We, there's a spiritual battle against you. So you need to, uh, you need to just discipline yourself. You stop watching TV. Turn off your cell phone. Uh, turn off the computer games and DVDs. 
fast and pray and read the scripture and tell Jesus, listen, Lord, please, my Lord and my God, please help me to be delivered from. If you don't get serious about it, you're going to stay a homosexual. Okay, so I want to leave that with you. I'm going to do more videos on other stuff, but not this. Uh, grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.